how are you doing on Pinterest? Like how much activity are you, do you have any activity on Pinterest or? I am not doing it at all. <laughs> uh, with all your spare time? What do you mean? You're not. You're I mean, not I go on there, yeah, for wedding stuff, but I just haven't done it because like, again, it's one of those things that it's another outlet. And so I'm trying to figure out what things do I go deep in and what's like really worth my time. So yeah. Well, I think definitely for homework um, would be like the breaking up the blogs and uh, the Facebook page. Like even if it's just $20 to get the Facebook followers up and then just making all of your posts from Instagram go straight into Facebook. So now you're double dipping um, and, you're, and you're at least starting to grow that audience organically for when you need it, um, you know, <clears throat> by way of traffic. So I think down the road and you don't have to, you know, worry about this now, but I, I think you definitely want to be on Pinterest with what you do. Um, mm -hmm. You would do so, so well on Pinterest. Um, I, I think that's something, and maybe just the first thing is to get some of those meta tags and get the Pinterest save and just get a page up. Um, mm -hmm. Get the boss page up, maybe get like five boards. I mean, give yourself like a deadline, like, okay, I'm gonna spend 90 minutes on this. And that's all the time I have for the, you know, for the next few weeks. Um, and I would get boards and pins up. Um, and as you get boards and pins up, the, the number one thing that I just want you to keep in, keep in mind is um, just like your meta description for each of your products for your site, that's what Pinterest is using. So make sure that that description is really, really rich, um, has tons of keywords, um, you know, gardening tools, um, you know, metal steak, like, uh, you know, herb labels, or I don't know, whatever your keywords are, really go um, really deep in the, um, in the description piece and make sure that you've got, you know, the board. Will it link that information from your products or you actually have to write it in? So great question. Um, they have what's called uh, rich pins. Um, and I don't know, it's, it's <clears throat> a lot more involved, but rich pins will pull all the information. So pricing and populate, it will just populate all of your stuff into, into the Pinterest page. Um, so that's something to think about for sure is looking into rich pins because how nice to have everything just, you know, merged over and you don't have to create each individual pin. Yeah. Um, but for now, maybe just starting almost like what you were doing with Facebook in, in its infancy, start, get some boards up, get some pins, you know, start following some people that are inspirational to you and, and, and put that and put that out there. Mm -hmm. Then step two, which is not going to take super long either, would be to get, um, to get your, you know, your buttons that allow people to, to save to their Pinterest pages. It's just so I was going to ask about that. Cause a lot of times when I go on Pinterest, I mean, there are some times where I can link it back to the original source, but is it, um, I guess like at some point, does it somehow like somebody takes an image and it, they repost it or they're using it in some way, or maybe they're just taking a snapshot of it themselves and then they're posting it. Is there a good chance that it can be lost from the original link? I don't think so, especially when you have those, um, those follow or post to your board, because mm -hmm. it's easier for most people, and most people use Pinterest, um, to just to put it on their board. They don't need to like, you know, swipe it from you because you're making it so easy for them to keep it for themselves. That's yeah. My, my thought there, I don't need to ever screenshot anything unless you've made it so hard for me to be able to, to, to save it for myself and to find yeah. it. Um, and I can't save your website any other way or like a product besides either like right saving, like right clicking on your image or pinning it and I would pin it. Right. Yeah. I'm just thinking cause I've seen so many times and it's so weird to me. Like people will even post on Instagram, like for an image credit, like a uh, photo unknown Pinterest. And I'm like, that's like, you can't really do that. You shouldn't do that. Like, it's just weird to me. <laughs> That's my fear is like eventually like maybe somewhere through the pipeline, it just, someone may not even know where the image came from, you know? I think the fear would be that if you don't have the Pinterest, save it or pin it, that you would have that, oppor you'd have that opportunity more right. than if you did have it. Because now I can save it to my board and I have a, a, an easy way to you know, like gardening goals. I can't afford this now, but I really want it. Or I want it for my mom's birthday and I don't need it now. Yeah. 
put it on my Pinterest because I need to be reminded of it in you know February when um when it's her when it's her birthday or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I mean, I'll definitely try to start slowly doing it. It's something that's always on my mind. I just yeah haven't gotten around to it. 